everybody. It's Steve Nicola out from Coach Baseball, right? Hey, yesterday I saw an interesting post uh, on on our Facebook uh, page, and it was a, a college coach that was talking about travel ball, and he had some comments about travel ball and, and some concerns about it. So let me, if I could, just make a, a couple of observations of a, of a guy that's doing this for a long time. I coach my kids as they were growing up. I've coached. Um, you know, at the high school level for a long time. I've officiated at the college level. Uh, let me just say this. I don't think travel ball is necessarily the issue. Uh, and I don't think dads coaching their kids is the issue. I know a lot of dads that coach their kids and do a great job for their kid and the other kids. And kids have to play, so I think travel ball is okay. As long as, now hey, as long as you're not playing too many games and as long as you practice. But the real issue I think the coach was, uh, was, was alluding to, I, I think I agree with. And here's the issue. There's 12 kids on a team in a lot of travel ball teams, a lot of youth baseball. Everybody plays. There's no competition. There's no competition within the team for a spot. That's a problem. That's a problem. I remember growing up, and, and you know what? If uh, ever we had we had 15, 16 kids on a team, and if I wasn't as good as the other first baseman, you know, he played. And back in the old days, we played two years, you know, like fifth and sixth grade. So every time I got paired with the sixth grade, you know, the guy ahead of me was a year older than me, and he was better. So that year, I wasn't I wasn't getting as much time. That's a very valuable experience for a kid to be able to work through. A difficult situation and either get better and take the job over from somebody else or just get better and be that much better for next year when you get the job that's what we don't have anymore that's what youth sports has become today is everybody plays and to be quite honestly I think that's a concern so anyway I, I hope uh, this really gets you thinking and, and maybe talking about it if you say, well, how would you fix it, you know? I, would, I wouldn't fix anything except one thing. Maybe what we need to have is a minimum rule of 15 kids on a team. And that way we provide internal competition for kids. Because the old idea that everybody plays, it, it doesn't teach our kids really how to compete um, against themselves and against their own teammates. I mean, what happens when you get to high school? Everybody doesn't play. What happens when you get to college? Everybody doesn't play. Okay, what happens uh, in the real world if, if um, there's only enough to have one salesman and two guys are competing for the, the company's downsizing, say? But what happens is, is one guy is going to go to another spot. He's, gonna, he's, gonna, he's not going to have his job. So I do, I do find some concern about having 10, 11, 12 guys on a team. And, and everybody is always playing, and the only competition they have is against the other team. Uh, I'd like to see guys have to work to play on, on their team. So is the issue travel ball? I don't think so. Is the issue dad coaching? I don't think so. I think the issue is, is uh, the way it's set up where everybody seems to play. And if you're not happy, what do we do? We find another team. You know, we go out and start our own team. So. Those are the concerns that I think that, uh, that I have with uh, youth sports, uh, the absence of competition. So anyway, I'm not asking you to agree with me, just uh, maybe kick it around and, uh, and have some great discussion on it. Thanks so much and have a great day.